in your brain is the most powerful weapon. I talk about that in one of these chapters. Your brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. Once you put away your phones and your computers and all that shit we have nowadays, yeah, it's great. We're up to date, we, you know, you, but your brain is the only thing you have when you're going through depression, when, you, when you're going through hard times, you're going through death, real life shit. You can't Google that shit, man. You're alone. You're alone. You may have a shrink you're going to, you may have a best friend you're going to, but there's 24 hours in the day where you're alone in this brain and your brain is talking to you in all kinds of ways and it wants to control you and pull you in these different pockets. If you can't control your own brain and your brain controls you, you're fucked. You got to tell your brain where you want to go and how you want to go and how you want to get there. You got to control it. If not, it's over. It's and, over. And all of that you learned from your own brain. You yes. didn't Google this shit. No. You didn't buy books. It didn't exist. This shit didn't exist. I couldn't even fucking spell Google back then. This shit didn't exist, man. What, what existed for me was okay, man. How am I gonna fucking make this work? And, I, and all I knew back then was hard work. The only way anything gets accomplished. That's all I heard back in those days. You gotta work hard. You gotta work hard. I'm not getting how to, I can't get this paragraph. I can't remember what the fuck's in this paragraph to pass this test to get in the military. Read again. Still not getting it, read again. But if you're not getting it, write it out. And that's how I started learning. Okay, well, I can't, I gotta write out every fucking thing I do. And then write it out again, and write it out again. And guess what happened? I got it, I got it. I can't swim, I'm negative buoyant. Go back again, I can't swim. Go back again, go back again, go back again. I got it. I realize if I keep going back and going back and going back until the shit just becomes, your mind will say, fuck, okay? We're gonna figure it out. It'll find a way. Because he is not going to stop. It's not like, I'm gonna try one more time. No, I'm gonna, it's just like, alarm clock goes off, boom. We're going back. I can't read right, we're going back. I gave myself no way out, and my mind realized that. It's okay, we're gonna adapt and overcome. Opportunity. You have an opportunity of a lifetime. When you understand you have an opportunity, you, just, you play a little different. When I dropped out of high school and I started going to this church and let me speak, I picked up the mic. I was 16 years old, I picked up the mic. I'm not gonna say it was the best speech I ever did, but when I picked up that mic and got off that stage, I was like, yep, I can do it. So hear what I'm saying, opportunity. I got an opportunity, you got an opportunity. So here's the deal. When you have an opportunity, why would you give 80%? Why would you give 80%, 70%? Why wouldn't you always give 120%? It's sports, it's basketball. Why wouldn't you give 120%? You can't dictate if the ball gonna always go in. You can't dictate what kind of game you're gonna have. You can't dictate how your body is gonna respond to moving around. But you can dictate your what? You can dictate your good. You can dictate your, you can always give 120% effort. And every day I want you to wake up and not just go, I'm sweet like that. I want you to go, I'm not just going with skills. There's a one type of dude who feel like because he's gifted that it's just an automatic role for him. Let me tell y'all something. You are gifted, but you gotta humble yourself. You gotta understand that pride come before fall. You may get it, but right now what? Oh, I can't hear y'all. You may get it, but right now what? You don't have it. That's not what gets you in the league. Not with what you were born with. You got skill and you got will. You got skill and you got will. Two total different things. You were born with certain things, but to get to the next level, and not just get to the next level, to stay at the next level, you gotta have will. So when you play, you have to compete. I'm a high school dropout. My daddy wasn't in my life. But I found out I had a gift, then I found out your gift shall make room for you.
And I'm like, you mean to tell me if I perfect this, I can eat and my kids can eat and my kids' kids can eat? From today on, you play whatever your best game is, you play that level every single time. The first game of my senior year, I'm in great shape. But unfortunately, I broke my foot. I had never been hurt a day in my life. My very first game, I broke my foot. I threw me a pity party. My trainer came to me and says, Walter, we can get you back for the Big Ten season. We can get you back, son. We can get you right back in five weeks. I said, Roger, when I come out of surgery, I want you to take me to the stationary bike. Put me on the bike and take my cast to the pedal. But Walter, when you come out of surgery, you're going to be on, on morphine and you won't feel like to go back and rest. I said, Roger, I don't have time to rest. Can you do that favor for me? Can you take me to the stationary bike, put me on the bike and take my cast to the pedal? As soon as surgery was over, he carried me to the stationary bike, put me on that bike and he take my cast to the pedal. And I had a customary workout that was symbolic that I don't have time to rest. I had tears in my eyes as I pedaled that bike and I thought to myself, I can't quit. I can't give up. I came back in six weeks. We playing against the Ohio State Buckeyes on national TV. They had a guy named Jimmy Jackson at that time. On national TV, me and Jimmy Jackson are going at it. In the first half, I had 15 points, five rebounds, and five assists. And as the first half ran out, I pulled up for my patented baseline jump shot, and I felt my foot break again. I've been trained to follow through. Every day in practice, my coach would say, Walter, shoot it like you own it, baby. Shoot it like it's yours. Even though I felt my foot break, I still followed through. And my last college basketball shot went in all nets because I've been trained to follow through. You have to be disciplined every single day and train yourself to follow through on all your fundamentals and that's how you're going to be successful. You have to do it when you don't feel like it. You have to do it when you feel discouraged. You have to do it when you don't feel healthy. You have to do it when you're under the weather. Every single day, you have to train yourself to focus and commit to your business and fuck. I'm chasing legends. You know what I'm talking about. It's very few get this gift and get this ability to chase a legend. You know, yeah, you were the greatest, you were the best, you were the golden boy of that era. But every once in a while, it was a king or a queen that comes around and they say, I wanna be the best. Yeah, I love the lessons you taught me. Yes, I love what you gave the world, but I wanna be the best. You know, human beings were not born to be ordinary. We were born to be phenomenal. So as the generations change and as the time grows, we realize that it's our time. No, don't confuse it with disrespect just because I want respect. Just because I want to stand on the stage and call myself number one and show the world that the best gifts really do come from the bottom. And if you allow us to climb, you will see some of the greatest moments, gifts you ever seen in your life. Yes, it comes a time when we scream, it's my time. It's my time to travel the world and give the people the motivation that we know they need. It's my time to feed my family and take them out of the projects and show them that it's a better life. It's my time. So you think it's about the diamonds, gold, and glitter in the television time, but it is not. It's about the ability to take care of your family and feed the people that you love the most. And that's what it's about. So excuse me if you feel that I'm being rude or, or if I'm out of place, but I'm sorry. I'm not afraid to tell you in your face that, hey, I want this. Yes, you may have it, and no, I won't steal it, and no, I won't beg for it, I will earn it, but I want you to know that I want this. And this thing is number one. This thing is chasing legends. And no, my friend, it will not be easy. But with belief in yourself, hard work and dedication, commitment and consistency, that man will have to pass.